I'd like to go to yoga tonight, but... Did I hear someone internal monologuing about the pandemic? We know you want to practice, so we have a 26 to 2 point safety plan for you. Before you even show up, we have been cleaning everything, all the touch points, and the hot room is thoroughly sanitized between classes, which is why we have you bring everything in there. Can I bring my... Some of that will be useful, but we ask that you just bring a mat, a big towel, a hand towel, your water, and a couple of masks so you can swap them out if they get a little sweaty. Everything else you can leave either in your car or at home, but you'll wanna show up with your yoga clothes underneath your street clothes so you can just take off your street clothes and be ready to go. But what about my stuff once I get in the room? There's only enough room on the boot trays for shoes, keys, and small electronics. Everything else goes in the room with you. I'm usually running late. I wonder if they'll let me in. No, but if you show up on time, all you'll need to do is answer the three standard questions. We'll take your temperature, you take a pump of hand sanitizer, and you'll be ready for class. I don't like to mention this, but what if I have to... Check your DMs. <laughs> yes, you can. Just be efficient, no dawdling. In New Haven, you'll knock before you enter to make sure nobody's in the bathroom and leave to the left. And in Madison, you flip the sign when you head into the bathroom to occupied and make sure you flip it back to unoccupied on your way out. Yes, of course you can talk. Just make sure that you maintain social distance. That's a good six feet at least, and you keep your mask on the whole time. And while we're on the subject, if you know in advance that you're gonna be leaving the class early, please let the teacher know. This is a lot of stuff, and we haven't even started practicing it. When do we get into the room? In the room, just place the top of your mat on one of the tape lines. Make sure to go over and greet the teacher and do the same thing on your way out. Collect all your belongings and make sure you maintain social distance. Don't hold the door for anybody on your way out. That's the polite way. Remember, you still wanna socially distance as you're coming into and out of the studio, but if even a global pandemic hasn't shaken those good manners that your mama taught you and you have to hold the door, do it like this. Thank you very much. Okay. I do have allergies sometimes. What if I need to cough or sneeze? That's why we ask you to bring an extra small towel with you. So if you need to cough or sneeze during your class, you can cover your whole face with the towel, even though you'll be wearing a mask. I get hungry after class. You know there's no such thing as a Japanese hand sandwich, but we do have fresh pressed juices available. So order it before class and you'll have it in your hand on your way out. I usually have a lot of questions after class. We know you've got questions. And because for everyone's safety, we wanna keep you in the studio for the shortest period of time possible, it can be hard to remember it in the moment. But we want you to say whatever you have to say to our face. So we have virtual office hours every week. It's right there on our virtual schedule. And if our schedule doesn't match up with your schedule, just give us a shout out at info at truebikram.com. We'd be super happy to schedule a time to connect with you. You know, a Japanese ham sandwich would be really good right now. Did I hear myself in her monologuing? <laughs>